So my name is Chris Liao and I'm a surgeon by trade. I specialize in laparoscopic keyhole surgery and I'm a general surgeon as well. I work in this lovely little hospital in Norfolk, James Paget Hospital, which is not far from Norwich. And I've got a beautiful family. I've got a son who is six years old now and uh, I love my job. I just love being a surgeon. Uh, I love to care for my patients. I derive a lot of uh, enjoyment when I see them get better, do well and go home. Right from a very young age, I had eczema and I didn't have any allergy as such, no type 1 hypersensitivity, but I had uh, sensitive skin because I would uh, often come up with red patches, uh, which is in line with having an atopic sort of an eczema, which is mostly uh, type 4 hypersensitivity. But it never was a major problem until I got into surgical training and even even in the earlier part of my training it didn't uh, affect my job that much because probably the things I was sensitive to uh, I was not exposed to them on a daily basis so it was all right it only came up to head by about the latter part of my training when I was uh, a senior trainee. I was uh, working long hours and operating more because of my experience and that's when it became obvious that I was highly sensitive to few chemicals in the glove. The more I work, the more I operated, it will get worse. My hands would be very itchy it will come up in red spots and then when you scratch on it inadvertently or while you're asleep or when you're not uh, aware of it uh, the skin will break down and weep and it will just spread to the rest of your hands it got really bad when there wasn't a single day when I would not have to put ointment and wrap my hands up. It was very painful to say the least. It affected my work to the extent that um, I had to take time off. But uh, in my training, if I took any, any time longer than two weeks, uh, it didn't go down very well with the bosses. And uh, nobody liked doctors being off for uh, that period of time. I was seeing two different dermatologists. One was on the NHS and one I was seeing privately. And interestingly, the private dermatologist who was supposed to be more experienced and well-known in this field advised me to give up surgery. He, in his own words, he said, um, how about being a psychiatrist <laughs> or being a, uh, being a GP, which actually was, to say the least, uh, a big shock to me uh, because someone who loved his job so much and I really liked operating, uh, I, I never thought that my skin condition would make me give up my job. It made me uh, very unhappy, I was uh, depressed, but I insisted that I'll be investigated. Thankfully, the NHS dermatologist who was, say who was seeing me uh, listened to me because even though they told me I have got atopic dermatitis and it's not gonna get better unless I give up my job as a surgeon, I was very confident that there, there is an element in the environment or the gloves I'm using which is, a, which is a trigger in flaring up my dermatitis. The reason of that was if I took time off and go away on holiday or if I'm not working, it will calm down to quite an extent and it will flare up again when I come back to work. 
So in my mind, I was uh, very confident that there is a triggering factor. And because of that, I insisted uh, to my dermatologist that I should have a patch test. They found out that I was actually sensitive to four different chemicals. They were all chemical accelerants used in um, vulcanization of rubber. So even if it's non-latex gloves, you still need some chemicals to speed up the process and those were being used in pretty much all of the gloves I was using. Armed with that information, I then wrote to three different glove companies and thankfully one of them responded back to me with regards to which glove did not have the chemicals. There were two gloves I was given the option to choose from. Uh, they were both from Ansel and the one that I'm using at the moment I was assured that didn't have those four chemicals. When I went back to work after my hands got a little bit better with a lot of uh, trepidation and anxiety, I was wary of uh, restarting using the gloves, but thankfully uh, the problem did not come back. I was ecstatic to say the least. Uh, and I was happy that with the new gloves, uh, my hands were back to normal as they are today and I could keep my job. I think it's a very important question. Everybody knows about type 1 hypersensitivity which is allergy because it is much more severe. People die from it and the reaction is much more dramatic if you get a type 1 hypersensitivity which is the anaphylaxis. The type 4 hypersensitivity, which is a delayed reaction and it's a cell-mediated reaction, is often not very well known. And I think it's a huge problem, not just a burden, uh, to the healthcare professionals. Because a lot of healthcare professionals, for various reasons, uh, would not come out of it. In the sense, they will not make it known to the general public, partly because either it may affect their professional career, uh, they might uh, want to treat themselves. Uh, they might not want to make it well known because they tend to use the hands so often every day. Plus the fact that my dermatologist himself wasn't aware that this prevalence could be probably as high as, uh, high as 1 in 10 or 1 in 20 amongst the healthcare professionals the dermatologist or the professionals would not pursue the line of uh, checking you for your type 4 hypersensitivity, which, which I persisted and um, insisted my dermatologist to get me checked for. There are many healthcare professionals not just the surgeons, but uh, paramedics, nurses, uh, emergency professionals who work in the emergency department who wear gloves and are exposed to these things, that uh, they might be having a severe problem in their hands to the extent that they may have to give up their favorite job or even change their line of profession. It makes it a duty for me to tell people, uh, especially the healthcare professionals, that if they, get, if they seek the right advice and get the right help, they might be able to address the problem and nip it in the bud, get the right treatment and get back to the job they love. Certainly if I was told earlier on that, oh actually you're suffering from this sort of problem, go and get yourself sorted by doing a patch test and if you're sensitive to these, these, these and this, just try and avoid them, I may have saved myself at least five years of misery and not having to go from pillar to post trying to find a solution. Because for me it was a first-hand experience. I didn't have the benefit of learning from somebody else's. So I would want to spread the word around so that hopefully if somebody who is suffering with a similar problem doesn't have to go through the same problem I've gone through, 
and might be able to benefit from my experience.